So folks, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know I've been digging into the real estate market. I think there are three areas of the real estate market. Simply said, first time home buyer, move up in luxury. I am seeing a bifurcated or bipolar market. But you know what? Let's talk to somebody who is looking at dozens and dozens of files every week and see what he sees. And to do that, we're bringing on Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. So again, you have an amazing playlist on the channel. It's just called Matt, the mortgage guy that we've got years of content created that people should go back and watch. But I got to ask, what is going on today? It is almost the end of January. And to me, the market is clearly moving in one part of the market and clearly busted in another part. But what do you say? Right. Yeah. I mean, January 2023 hits different than the November and December hit. And, and, uh, you know, you can see nas nationwide stats, mortgage applications up, and as rates trickle down, demand comes back. But, um, you know, the market that I've got the most knowledge of, because I'm intimately involved with where I live and, and tons and tons of agents around this area in Northern California, stuff sat in November and December. And to me, that was just opportunity galore. And, and we were screaming at investors and buyers, go out there and get yourself some credit. You've I got, got to. Right. I got two. <laughs> Mike even got himself a couple of them. Um, I'm going to be in contract on one in the next couple of days, by the way. Um, got to send you a card when it closes. For sure. For sure. Um, and all of a sudden, with some of this demand kind of roaring back, and, and, I, and I told some buyers too, I feel like it was some pent up demand. I feel like in December, there's some people that were like, yeah, I'm pre-approved. It looks good. It looks juicy out there. I can get 15,000 in credit here but they didn't take any action. And then when everybody took action, I had conversations last week, Mike, where they were like, it's listed at 490. I offered 515. I didn't get it. And then somebody oh my. else- No way. Bidding wars are back. Well, that or might be bidding a stretch, wars. right? And I'm not going to say that's happening on every property, but that was like- But, oh, but overpaying, right? Again, you said 490 offered 515, didn't get it. Didn't get it. And that was like- God, Somebody I'm so asked glad me as I took action in Matt, November. What, what's going on? What's yeah. going on here? And, um, you know, to your point, there's different markets. I work with a lot of first time home buyers. Entry level Sacramento is 400 to 600. And what and is I, median? What is median in SAC? 450? 480? No, I think it's, I think it might be above five now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um, All right. I think it might be, it's somewhere in the $500,000 range, but there's there's plenty of neighborhoods and there's plenty of stuff between four and five. Of course, that's why median's five, right? That means there's stuff below. Right. right. Yeah. Um, okay. And um, boy, oh boy, that got competitive quick. Um, and so um, yeah. I'm not and telling it, people it's it, over and I'm not telling people we're in a seller's market where we're going to have no. multiple offers. But what I am saying is like, I see somebody touched that window and started to close that window of you've got all the leverage in the world. Ask for whatever seller credit you want. 